All right, Title, what's up? We got our board brief for October 24th, and we got the workout Nate. All right, so 20-minute AMRAP, two muscle-ups on the rings, four handstand push-ups, eight kettlebell swings, kettlebell 53 and 70 pounds, respectively. Okay. All right, um, level two, a little different. 20-minute um, AMRAP, two low ring transitions, or muscle up transitions, four pike handstand push ups from a box, eight kettlebell swings, 35, 53. Um, and then we have the beginner, or sorry, L1, and that's 150 meter or 100 meter row, 150 meter row, respectively. Two low ring transitions, four elevated push ups, so something like on a box or something maybe even lower a little bit. Um, eight kettlebell swings, 18 and 26. So that's an eight minute AMRAP followed by um, four minute rest and another eight minute AMRAP of the exact same movements. All right, so it'll give you a chance to recover. Um, I've done this workout a number of times. Okay, and what we're looking for is somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 rounds plus if you're pretty proficient. Um, the movements are low low reps, but very high skill. So we got two ring muscle ups, okay? Four handstand push-ups, eight kettlebell swings. So the combination of the high skill work and then the heavier kettlebell swings really sort of puts a toll on your heart rate, really gets your heart rate pretty jacked up. The key for this one is to move smoothly through the transitions. That's where you're gonna rest. Maybe not running from one spot to the other, especially in the early rounds where you have that energy, right? So we want to conserve some for the end rounds. Um, two muscle ups should be unbroken. Four handstands should be unbroken. Let's just say it. The whole workout should be unbroken uh, if you're doing an RX. Um, maybe the handstand push-ups give you a little difficulty in doing two and two one or, or three and one. That That's okay. Um, just try to be smooth through your transitions and try not to stop. This workout is a workout where you can just like go to one movement, two reps, go to the next movement, four reps, next movement, eight reps. So those transition times are important, but it's also important you get your rest on them, okay? So when performing this workout RX or any other way, we're still looking for 10 to 15 rounds somewhere up there. Let's remember, the kettlebell swings are overhead. Let's not have these kettlebell swings with our arms bent. Let's make sure we get our arms extended. No droopy kettlebells either. Hold on to that bad boy tightly, okay? Um, yeah, with the, when we're talking about the level one, and why is there a row in it? Let's get your heart rate taxed a little bit, okay? And then the level two with the low ring transitions. Let's make those low ring transitions count um we're not looking to go from below the rings to right over the rings in a locked out position just like a ring muscle ups a ring muscle up it's two different movements we got the pulling movement where we're going to end up into a deep ring dip and then we got the press out from the ring dip so two different movements um so when we're doing those low ring muscle up transitions it should be two different movements as well all right guys have some fun with it tomorrow great workout um, let's get after Nate.